you wear green? I am. Today we're going to make a little a leprechaun, a directed drawing of a leprechaun. You're going to use pencil. I'm going to use marker so you can see it on camera. Um, but you want to use pencil. This one was done in pencil. This is how it's going to turn out when we're done if you follow directions. My directions might be going a little fast for the video, so you can pause it as you go. That way you can keep up, okay? All right, get your pencil ready. First step is we're going to make a U in the middle of our paper like this. Big U. That's going to be the leprechaun's face. From there, you're going to go across and connect the line across, and then another line across. This is called a parallel line. See how they run next to each other? That's parallel. Then you're gonna close it here, close it there. You can see that's the top of his hat, the beginning of his hat, and then this is gonna come up to the top, up to the top, close it up. This is a lot like when we made the cat in the hat's hat, okay? Now we're going to go down to do his beard. His beard is going to be like bump, 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 bump. So loop here, close it at the line. Loop, close it at the line. Loop, close it at the line. And try to make these bumps all the same size. It looks better that way. Bump, bump, bump. If you wanted, you could then count the bumps. See how many it took. One, two, three, you could count them. See how many. Okay, let's go back to the top. We're going to do a square. Big square at the top. This is for his buckle. Little square inside to help with the buckle. Okay. From here, we're going to go down and make his body. This is going to be his jacket. Three little buttons. Okay, and then we're going to make his face. When you do the eyes, remember, we don't want to put eyes too far apart. If you put eyes too far apart, it doesn't look right. One, two cute eyes, little round nose, and a big smile. He's smiling because he caught all the gold. Okay, last thing we need are his arms. We're going to go out with parallel lines. You can connect them out with parallel lines, connect him, and then for his hands, you can just kind of go boop, 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 boop. There you have it, your happy little leprechaun. The next step will be to paint him or color him, which I'll show you. Okay, now we're ready to put the magic into our drawing by coloring it. Um, you've got your pencil drawing of your leprechaun. I have two here because I'm gonna show you two options. One, if you have watercolors, which is what we would do in the classroom, or if you don't have watercolors, you can just use crayons. But either way, you need to use a black crayon um, to outline it because it helps keep the paint from running into each other, like the blue mixing with the green. If you, if you outline with black first, um, then it helps keep the paint from smearing together. So I'm gonna outline Black first, okay, you do it too. Okay, go real carefully right over your, your lines. You keep going with me. Don't worry about using black on it. It all ends up looking really good in the end and it helps keep the paint from smearing. Okay, and then do your bump, 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 around and around you go. Did you count the bumps on his beard? How many did he have? Now the eyes, nose, big smile. Okay, jacket hands, all of it needs to be outlined with black crayon, okay? So that when you paint, it's a lot easier. 
Okay, I'm done with that. So now I'm gonna start painting. The colors I'm going to use are um, green for his hat um, and jacket, yellow for his, his buckle. Um, the background color is gonna be blue. I'm gonna start with the, um, the yellow. I'm gonna do his buttons. Oops, make sure your brush is really clean. Mine wasn't. If your brush isn't clean, just get it in water and clean it really well. Okay, I wanna make sure I get the yellow buttons. Okay. Sometimes you need to really get your brush in the paint. You can also use crayons. Either way, then I'm gonna do um, this outside part of the buckle yellow, okay? Like this. Now, it doesn't look super yellow right now, but it will once it's all done, okay? And then my next color, I'm gonna go with, I think I'll go with green for his jacket. Okay, nice and green for his jacket. And then we are going to continue. Now for his face, his face you're gonna use a peach color crayon. I don't really have peach colored paint. So I'm gonna take a pause from the jacket and watch how I do his hands with crayon. Or if you're only using crayon, then you got you got that. Don't do his arms, that's gonna be his jacket, like I did here. And then you can also do his face, peach, like this. Action. Okay, so we're finishing up painting, but I need to show you my helper. Come on over. I've got my other little helper today. This is my daughter, Kate. Hi. So we're gonna, um, thank you for your help. So. I wanted to show you what it would look like if you did watercolor, okay? This is with watercolor, except I did crayon in the eyes. No, I'm sorry, not the eyes. The face is crayon, and um, the hands are crayon. And then obviously the, the, black, the black outline, which you really need to do before you paint it. If you're using crayon for the whole thing, then again, you're going to outline it with black first. Make sure whenever you're using crayon, you hold it correctly, not too high. Think of this little line on the wrapper as a good guide on where to put your fingers, okay? Pinchy, pinchy. Um, if you're painting, you do the same grip, but not low on the brush so much. It's usually up here a little higher for your paint brush grip. One last thing, if you are coloring it, remember what we learned about coloring the strokes in one direction like this. Continue to color so that you're not changing the direction that your crayon moves. Because if when you do that, it starts to look scribbled. But if you kind of keep your crayon moving in one direction, you'll see that it turns out much neater. Okay? And then the other thing you could do is you can erase, of course you hold the pencil the right way, you can erase extra pencil lines that you don't need. That'll make your work look really nice too. All right, so there you have it. How cute is that? Oops, upside down, we'll turn it around.